everybody, this is Kyle with AttackOfTheFanboy.com, and I am here at PAX East 2017 with Chris from Psionics. We just got to try out the drop shot update for Rocket League. Talk more about drop shot, but what else is in this update for Rocket League? Yeah, well, we're ending the competitive season three, which I know everybody's been waiting for, and handing out the rewards for that, titles. And we're starting competitive season four, which is going to be great. You know, we're going to, we're uh, replacing all of the uh, rank uh, ranks and rank icons, icons yeah. with uh, new ones that make a little bit more sense. They're a little bit easier to understand. Uh, we're going to have seasonal items out uh, till April seventeenth, which you can get from just playing inside the game, uh, Easter items and stuff <laughs> like that. Uh, we have a brand new crate called the Turbo Crate, which is going to have a new car that you can get called the Endo, which people are definitely going to be really excited about. It's a super awesome sports car. Uh, we're gonna, you can actually get that car painted, which is the first time we've ever done that. Oh, really? So yeah. it just comes. The in. trim, the actual the trim of the car is going to be painted. Okay. So, and we actually have painted boosts for the first time, I believe. So oh, wow. one of the boosts that's currently available. More stuff to collect. Yes. <laughs> More rare stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and then of course, the bulk of the update is drop shot, our new game mode. Uh, it's just really new take on the classic Rocket League gameplay where. Now, instead of having a static goal that you're shooting on, you actually have to break away your opponent's uh, floor. Mm -hmm. your, your opponent's floor is split into a bunch of uh, platforms that can be damaged by the ball. I think the, <laughs> the best way that I thought of it was um, like the, the Disc Wars scene in, in Tron Legacy, um, where they have to bounce the shot oh, and then yeah. that breaks the floor, yeah. which the character falls. Your car doesn't actually yeah, fall. Exactly. You don't have to fall into the goal, but you've got to get the ball into the goal. And um, like I said, it's it's tough to describe. You'll be able to see the trailer uh, by the time that this is out. So yeah. hopefully you get a good idea of it. But we got to play it. Uh, it was ridiculously fun, as usual with Rocket League. It sounds crazy, but it's so much fun. Um, so, yeah, you're breaking away these little chunks of the floor, and then that creates new goals. So yeah, so the, the gameplay is never going to be the same for two games. You know, you're going to be breaking away different tiles. You can score when the team has no tiles left. You can score when they have one gone. It just completely depends on the game. So, you know, you're going to get a very dynamic game. Yeah. Have you guys seen, like, how, how many hours have you guys played this behind the scenes, just testing a this lot. out? And, a lot. And I mean, what sort of strategies have uh, I mean, this, this mode has been in development for about six months. So in that time, we've tried different rules. We've tried different ways that the ball interacts with the floor. We've tried different ways the floor resets, you know, how many tiles get damaged for a hit. Mm -hmm. And we really honed in on this one to make sure that it was like the perfect balance for both experienced players and new players. Yeah. And I mean, it for about the last two months, it's been pretty locked down solid. And, you know, we've found a lot of new strategies from that have come up in mm -hmm. these last two months, you know. At first, we all started out as ball chasers, you know, the infamous <laughs> that's ball what I, chasers yeah, that's on what I was Reddit, doing. you know. <laughs> and this is really a mode for ball chasers because everybody's there's there's no goal to defend. Yeah. There's just your entire side. But we realized that strategy right away isn't going to work. So mm -hmm. we've we've developed some internal strategies. We're really excited to see what the community does. We're really excited to see what the pro scene does with this. Mm -hmm. We have no idea because. Honestly, we can't do those awesome shots that they do yeah. in RLCS at, <laughs> in the office. So yeah, we're not all Kernovi, but yeah, we want to be. Um, so, also, you you know, you mentioned uh, esports and, and the competitive scene. You guys have RLCS going on right now, and uh, the update also kind of introduces something with that. Can you talk about it? Yeah, quick? we're we're adding a button that is going to appear during uh, live esports events. It'll just bring you right to the Twitch, the Twitch stream for it. We're focusing really hard on esports this year. We're going to be putting in $2.5 million into the scene, a million dollars in prize pools alone, a million and a half into just supporting general esports, having us be a presence at bigger esports events. You know, even here at PAX, I believe we have a $5,000 yeah, tournament going tournament. on right now. So, you know, a huge push towards competitive Rocket League this year. Fantastic. Well, I think that's it for the drop shot update. So thanks for joining us and check out attackthefanboy.com for more on the drop shot update with Rocket League.